Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the latest edition of Tuesday Talks right here at the Calhoun Church of Christ. When I was a kid growing up in Jacksonville, Florida, my parents and I would take some time uh, to go up and visit my aunt and uncle in Valdosta. And I love going up there because, especially as a seven, eight year old kid, going around their house, it felt like they had miles and miles of territory to be able to explore outside. And that's what I did. Well, as I got a little bit older, I got a little more daring and I rode a bike around the streets, you know, when my parents weren't looking. And I would go up and down different streets but there was one occasion in particular, I got a little lost. I was down streets. I didn't know where I was at. I got turned around. I just kept driving and panic started setting in because I was alone and I was afraid that, that I was about to be lost and that nobody would ever find me. And minutes turned into hours, at least that's what it felt like. And then my parents were just a couple of streets over. There were houses all around me, but I was still afraid because I was alone. In 1 Kings chapter 18, Elijah has this amazing moment on Mount Carmel against the prophets of Baal where God truly showed up to let all of Israel know that he is still God and he is still in control. But then we flip over a page and we're in chapter 19 and Elijah is being chased by Ahab and Jezebel and they're coming after him and he's afraid because he's alone and loneliness really started creeping in on him and he began to get depressed and anxiety really started growing in there. And in verse 18, God had to come to him and say, Elijah, it's okay. You're not alone that there are thousands of people who had never kneeled to Baal. Now, psychologists tell us that loneliness for a lot of times is, is something actually is a state of mind. It is something that overtakes us. And in fact, some people that deal with a lot of anxiety from loneliness is because our mind begins to play tricks on us. Just like when I was a kid and I was only a couple streets over, I automatically thought I was lost. My parents would never find me again. But our minds play tricks. And I think that's why Paul encourages us, and encourages us in Philippians chapter 4. Don't think on things that are negative. What does he say? Think on things that are wonderful. Think on things that are joyful. Think on things that, that encourage you. Think of things that are worthy of praise. And he says, you do that because we can cast all of our cares. We can cast all of our anxieties upon him because he cares for us. And I want to challenge you today, this week. Don't let your mind start playing tricks on you. Don't let your mind get the best of you. Think on the things that are worthy. Think on the things that are just and noble and hold on to them no matter what you may face. I hope you have a wonderful rest of this day and a fabulous week to come.